Welcome to the deep dive session and today we are going to see how to use Athena. Now this before watching this video I would suggest you to watch the deep dive session of cloud trail because this is dependent on the deep dive session of cloud trail. I'm going to repeat again. This session is dependent on deep dive session of cloud trail. A quick recap on the deep dive session of cloud trail we stored all the events into S3 buckets. The data is now in S3 bucket. But if I want to analyze this information, how can I do it using AWS? We're going to see now. I'm going to click on event S3 in the left side, and I'm going to click on create an Athena table. When I do this, you can observe that it is asking me, what is your storage location? And if you see here, it says, choose an S3 bucket that contains cloud log files. In other words, if you are to create an Athena table, then the data should already be in S3 bucket, which means you should first create a cloud trail and then only you will be able to use Athena to query this information. And hence, that is the reason I mentioned deep dive session of cloud trail is important for this. Now, because we have already created a cloud trail, because we already have this information in S3 bucket, we know where to look in, look for it. So we'll choose the drop down option and select the S3 bucket where the data is present. This is where our cloud trail is uh, going to dump all the data, going to dump all the useful data of AWS console access or AWS EC2 access, sorry, CLI access, everything, every action into S3, right? And we are giving this location and then we are creating a table. If you see here, this is a standard syntax of AWS. Uh, this is standard syntax of SQL. It is a create table command. Now we're not going to the depth of it, of what it is because uh, it is definitely checking into each column and it is separating each column and then uh, it is giving the values for each column. That is what is the type of data in each column and creating a table on top of it. I'll simply click on create table. And what it is telling is a problem when attempting to create a table in Athena, cloud trail cannot be created table in Athena, okay? So let's try to refresh this one. Let's go back. Uh, and see what is happening here. Let's first see if there is a data in S3 bucket, which should be there, which should already be there, like we know, and we have this information already. Let's go back to Athena, and this is Athena. How to go to Athena? Pretty simple. If you click on Athena, it will come here, and then you can see that there, there is something already present, so what I will do is I will delete everything to be on the safer side first, and then what I'm going to do is click on settings. One of the thing we should note here is Athena needs an S3 bucket to store its data. That is who is querying Athena, what Athena uh, is doing. So Athena wants an S3 bucket to store its query result information. And hence it is looking for this bucket, but this bucket doesn't exist. So let me create this bucket and I will save this bucket. Uh, it is already used, so I'm going to give a different name. And I'm going to click on create bucket. Now, one thing you have to note here is this might not be the same name. This is a name that had previously used. That is why it is showing. If it is your first time doing this, it will be blank. So you can copy paste this information like this. This is the S3 bucket information. This is the bucket that I am concerned with, and I'm going to save this information. Yes, the information is saved. So now the error, uh, there should be an error. So let us try again from cloud trail to create the table. And hopefully this time it should be successful. And it is not, it is failing still. And let us see why it might be failing. Create a table, run advanced services, cloud trail information, tips for cloud trail locks. So, it is not clear why it is failing, but let us go back to Athena and let, try to refresh it. I can definitely see the trail created. A table is created. I don't know what why this is failing as such, but I can see a table created. Let me try to query this information. The 
let me run a preview table here copy this information so that i can so to select star from this table this table was created on athena in other words this meta information whatever you see here the meta information this meta information is stored in aws glue okay and when i run this particular query it is going to first go to glue get the meta information and then it is going to go to s3 and give me the result let us see if that works and i'll click on run query uh, it is failing and click on run query again the reason it failed is i had highlighted this one that is why it failed see here if you highlight and run something it's going to fail so click outside and run it again you will get the information you can see that you get all the information of api actions in this s3 bucket what is stored in s3 bucket in a queryable format now this might be nested and your sql engineers or your analyst will know how to get the required information from this but the important thing is you understood how to create a table uh, based on cloud trail events on athena and use athena to query this information if you get this error i think you can ignore it that is how i showed you usually if you're doing it for the first time you will not get any error but if you do get the error the best way to check is how i showed you here i came here and i validated if it was created and i queried this information and it is actually working so which means this error you can ignore this error what is coming here and this is how it the cloud trail information got stored in s3 bucket from that s3 bucket we created an athena table in other words the metadata of this table is stored in glue and we queried this information in athena if i have to represent this in a diagrammatical format how does it look this is aws cloud trail then we used another service called as trail that gets the information of cloud trail and then stores this information to s3 bucket s3 bucket is here this is how it got stored and from the option that was available in cloud trail we clicked on create athena table and hence from athena that is nothing but aws athena i was able to query the information in s3 bucket but during this process the meta information what is a meta information the information about the table that is nothing but what is the column name what is the type of the column is stored in aws glue now this is not shown this is uh, actually done behind the scenes for you if you want to see aws glue then you can come here search for aws glue and click on this and if you see about aws glue you can actually see the table here here you can see the meta information of the table the meta information of the table when the table was created what is the type of the table every information during this step what you followed this was taken care of by aws itself and hence this screen was not shown to you that is about aws glue aws athena and how to link cloud trail to athena and how to store cloud trail events to s3 and use all the aws services to query the information from what you see in the cloud trail events this example is a real time implementation that can be used in a company if you want to store your events for auditing purpose in future usually this is how they implement it in the company also so that all the information is stored in s3 and whenever they want they can query this information from athena i hope this practical section was very useful don't forget that you should delete all this information that is go to go to trails delete this trail if not you will be billed go to s3 delete all the buckets i will do it later but don't don't forget to delete all the buckets and once you delete all of these buckets it is fine you don't if you don't forget to delete this one you can do action and if you want you can do this one and hence the metadata is lost from athena you will not be able to query this anymore because it will throw an error if you try to query something you can see here the table is lost you cannot see any information because the metadata is now not present okay this is about 
AWS Athena and the real-time implementation of AWS Athena. Thank you.